<laughs> yo, 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 we back. Where the keys at? Your boy Tezza T's back again. Feels like I've been out of the building for a little while still. So, yes. you know, I'm here. <laughs> We're going to make it spicy. We're going to keep it consistent as well, guys. You know, you've seen a few clips coming out and stuff. So, you know, just keep just keep watching, you know, because we'll be posting quite a lot um, over the next few weeks and few days and stuff. So keep, you know, let's let's keep it going. So to my right, we've got my boy. D, I'm in the building. And then you got Ashwell over here. And Eli. Well, no, government no government name today. No I government see today. No. He's not government today. No, no, no. No, no. no Elijah. Elijah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you not like, dissing my name for? <laughs> yeah. Elijah Ezra Ture. In oh, the shit. Well, I, I, I ain't, ain't doing all that. No, I ain't trying to do all that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, guys. So today, what are we talking what? about? Well, I don't know, you know. Nice. I think the first topic we're going to talk about today is a... Is a Touchy one. It's a touchy one. It's yeah. A, it's a touchy one. I would say it. It's one of those ones that like, I'm trying to... Let's be real with it. Let's like be real with it. Like baby mama dramas, bro. Yeah. Baby, baby mama, mama dramas. And then one's putting your hand in fire, boy. Yeah. 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 I'm scared. Yeah, baby mama dramas is going to be, man. So I'm going to let my boy Lee kick off, man. Mm. Can I say, before we even start, the baby mama drama is going to be like that side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't and this no, side. No, no, no. You never <laughs> had a female drama, no? I got female drama, but you uh, got a female. Yeah, you said yeah. baby mama. But you still you female. Oh, sorry. sorry, let's just rephrase it. Female drama. Female drama, then. Because okay. no baby mothers uh, are bad. Uh, yeah, not all of them are bad. Yeah, so we're going to say female drama. Yeah, cool. And surely not all of them are consistently bad. Would have been nice sometimes, to just sometimes they're bad. We need a female on here to give their side of it. Well, we were trying to call these out, man, but these girls are running scared, man. Like, got a lot to say in the DMs and that, but not much to say when it comes to coming to the table. And with that said, Leroy, what are we saying? What 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 do you mean, what are we saying? Let's just see what you got to say. Well, I've got a lot to say, boy. I don't know if I could say it all on this. We ain't got enough time for that. All right, just say what you got to say. What you got to do, brother? I just don't understand some females. Mm -hmm. Preach. cause drama for no reason. Preach. No reason whatsoever, T. Mm. I mean, what? <laughs> mm. Let's get some examples about no, the drama. I, 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 I had to put, I put it this way, yeah. I've just, I've had, a, I've had a little issue go down, and I've had to, I've had to say to my children and show them some of the messages mm. that their mother has been sending. Mm. I had to, bruv. To let them know their mama's not right in the head, man. Okay. But I, I had to message her as well and say, look, I'm no longer communicating with you because mm. you ain't got nothing nice to say. Like, saying malicious things for no reason. Or to you. Or yeah, to, the kids. to me. Mm. To you. To okay. The... To me. But do you still, you can still see your kids though, right? At the moment, yeah. She yeah. stopped me seeing them enough times, though. Really? Yeah, when she don't get what That's she wants. That's where I disagree. Like, a lot of the conversation I hear mm. with like between mums and dads and stuff, I kind of think, well, well, that's just a temporary... Do you know what I mean? People get upset. But when they start using the kids as a weapon, that's when that... Yeah. I had it done to me many a times. Mm. My, bro, my wife will tell you. My wife will tell you. When we first got together, she... she the ex started saying some fools. She's like, I don't have all these women around my kids. Rah, rah, rah. I lost count of how many men she's had in her yard. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Does what that bother you? Like? It don't bother me. Look, it's, if she's happy, she, I'm happy. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. As long as they don't trouble my kids. I've said that about all the time. I told my kids that. Mm. If you get troubled by any man, you come and see me and I'll deal with it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I have never, ever once troubled my children. Yep. Hit them, hurt them. I've never done that. Mm. I can't say that somebody, that she ain't done that. Do you know what I mean? But I'm saying I've never done that. <laughs> yeah, four. Pure shots. But yeah, she stopped me seeing my kids and it was for a long time. It was nearly six months. Yeah, wow. That's crazy. That's crazy. See, Six I, months? Like, the stopping the children thing is is ridiculous. You know, fortunately, you know, I've never had that issue. That's a line too far, isn't it? Like, whatever, it whatever, whatever we have or mm. haven't had and stuff, that's between us. Like, there's not one time that I would ever bow mouth my baby mother um, to my children, regardless if she'd done me wrong, whatever, because that's that's between you and you. Do you know what I mean? Your yeah. relationship with your kids is totally, yeah. totally separate. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You're supposed to be work as a team. So for me, just even having the audacity to stop someone seeing their children, I think is bad. Yeah, I'm like sometimes that. financial financial um, support support is not what a child needs. Sometimes he just needs a father figure, some guidance, <clears throat> some support to know that mum and dad get on. Do you know what I mean? So mm. 
it's a tough one. You know, I understand if you've been abused by him and you've been certain things and you might think, but also that if he's not done that to his child, then get me there. Mm-hmm. Get yeah. me there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Your parents, his parents, mm-hmm. a friend, mm-hmm. whatever. Like, no one says that you have to associate with that person or see that person. That's the way I look at it. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? But this happens a lot though, doesn't it? Listen, I hate to think some of the things she said to other people about me. But to be honest, it don't it don't affect me. You know what I mean? My people know me. Yeah. Mm. My yeah. family know that I love my kids. Mm. My kids know that I love them. Like, that's why I, that's why I said earlier, I have to I have to be honest with my kids now. Mm. Yeah. I need them growing up knowing who their dad is. Yeah. Not who she says. Yeah, because the worst is. the worst thing is someone paint a picture of you and then if you don't say nothing, mm. Unconsciously, that might slip into their mind. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And they might yep. think, well, well, mum's saying that dad's not really saying nothing, but actually, hold on, look at this message. Yeah. Do but you know what I mean? If I heard my mum and dad doing that when they separated, I don't know how I'd feel. I, I wouldn't even want to hear any of it. I wouldn't want to hear it from either side. No. And I guess they've got the power because they've got the child most of the time in it. So they kind of have that advantage over you. You can't mm. do that. Because mm. when you see them, you've got a day or two days, you've got to like, exactly. see your happy me, daddy. Let me, you know tell you something. let me tell you something. I don't want to make this all about me, but let me tell you something. So, I can't remember how long ago. It must have been la- about, about a year ago. Mm. Yeah, he came to live with me. There's some issues with her, her ex and her. <coughs> this man went back to his mum's house probably about six, seven weeks ago. Within two weeks, I didn't hear from him. This wow. man, we text every day. Yeah, he's here every all the time. day. He's here with yeah. us every yeah. day. Get me? You see him, innit? So yeah. I'm thinking, like, what's going on with him? What's going on with him? All of a sudden, he can't speak to me. Wow. She's speaking for him. Wow. When I say this man tells me everything, mm. you know what I mean? We yeah. he, he opens up. I know. I've been, been there. Been there. <laughs> I've seen it. This man. He only this weekend he came back. And when I heard, when I, all the stuff he's telling me, yeah, this, that, and the other, I've been getting punished for stuff that I didn't do. Blah, blah, blah. Listen, you, you're under that, and you're in that house, you're under them rules, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Try not, get I don't get involved in that. In that. Involved in that yeah. Because that's the punishment yeah. you've got to deal with, you've got yeah. to deal with that. Yeah. But he's a changed man. Yeah. And I say his behaviour, even at school, this man's getting detention again every week. Yeah. I'm getting text messages. Yeah. He's not doing homework. And what is just... the solution to this? Like, because I know we're talking about females because we're males here expressing mm. our, our views on females. And mm-hmm. I know females can probably have a comment here and have the same conversation about men. Yeah, of course okay. they are. Um, yeah, so I, I get that. So we're not, so we're just going from our experiences and our views. But yeah, what can we do in order to change that? Because most main mothers will say, my dad's a waste man. My, the old yep. is a waste man. He's this, he's that, he's that. Mm-hmm. And let's, let's be real. Generally, it's because that man's probably left you for another woman. Yeah. That's that's one of the, that's one of yeah. the crux, yeah? yeah. Yeah. Or your relationship was sour, mm-hmm. and it did work. And man said, "I've had enough," or you've said you had enough. Yeah. Yeah. Whichever. It's whoever said they've, they've ended the relationship. So when that relationship ends, there should be this, or should there be this mutual agreement that okay, cool, we might not get on, we might have this thing. It might take a little while not for us to build our relationship back to where we can communicate properly as friends, yeah? Because we have children together. But we must not and should not Ex- bad mouth each other yeah. to our children mm. or anybody else because that's, you know, what you should say with our friends and stuff. You say with your friends. I mean, people do that. But to, to get that out, for your children to hear that, that should not be acceptable. That's that's how I believe it should be. I don't know what, what you guys think about that. One thing, ladies and I've got uh, one thing and my kid came back and told me this and actually my daughter verified it on the weekend as well. My boy came back and said to me when he moved in, he said, yeah, dad, mum said that her ex-boyfriend, who the boy she was with at the time, has been more of a dad to me in eight months <laughs> than you than you have in 14 years. Mm-mm. Rotten. Mm-mm. <laughs> Based on what? Because he took him to football a couple of times. Mm-mm. When I didn't have a whip, I couldn't go. I couldn't drive him to football. <laughs> Listen. Mm. And obviously he was financially supporting her. And you know what I mean? Gifting her and all them things there. Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to gift her. What am I going to gift her for? Yeah. She's not, she's not my girl. Yeah. Yeah. Like in an ideal world, you'd, you would like it to work. Like our T.Y. said, you agree on, you know. <sighs> At the end of the relationship, this is how we're going to be going forward. You just agree to disagree. Like you do your thing, I do my thing. Lee, in a ideal world, in an ideal world, that would that that would be 
Okay, but we're not in an ideal world. We're, in, we're, right, in, a, we're, we're in a we're in a world where people world. go off emotions, feelings, and more times females hold grudges. Yeah, yeah, they're the worst. Some the guys worst. do. I'm not, no, no, yeah, listen, yeah, listen. Yeah, yeah. Some guys do. But what female a, hold grudges? Been years it doesn't matter. Female hold grudges. <laughs> yeah. They see things. They see how you're moving. They see how they, you. You might be driving a nice car. They're like mm, this. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, Every yeah. little thing triggers. Oh, you might be taking the kids out. They see a picture of you and the kids at a bloody, I don't know, at Casper's. Looking all happy in their head, they're like, that should have been my family. You know yeah. what I mean? In their yeah, head, they, they, these, that, that, we don't know how, we, we can't process how they, our female think. We can only say what we, we what, we, what we think. But yeah. I think, I think like like you two said, mm. a media would be the best way of doing it. Yeah. But again, that costs money though. Yeah. And, and then fight them mm. things. But maybe I'll maybe maybe problems. it could be a media within, yeah, be, within, be, within, be, within, within the family. Or within a family or yeah. a friend. That could happen. Because then with the kid, Five days a week, or whatever. You only see them on the weekend, mm. Mm. or some people have the kids for the whole weekend, every other weekend, or whatever your circumstances, how you arrange it. Yeah, that's not good enough for them still because what they see is you in a new relationship doing the, the the things that you do on a daily basis, and they feel like their kids not getting enough. That's what a lot of the argument comes from. Mm. Where where because you live with your other children or whatever, they they see they they see they think that your child's getting more than their yeah, child. Special treatment, special treatment, mm. and stuff like mm. that. So that's one of the things they get. But also, it's like they just want to be in control. So they want your money. They want you to be this like. And if you don't give them their money, someone won't even let them let their children see their dad ain't giving them money. Yeah. Where for me. <laughs> The financial side is the, is a small side of things. Don't get me wrong; you need money to support your mm. children, mm. but to certain things, you like you know, we see guidance, mm. um, discipline, um, manners, respect, how yes. to be a man, especially if you're if you're if you're a male um, you got child, boy, yeah, yeah, boy or something right. like that. Yeah, yep. they're the kind of things you need. Do you know what I mean? Because you're quick to say, "Yeah, what your dad gets home." Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Or I'm gonna tell your dad this, yeah. or whatever else. Do you know what I mean? Or don't get me wrong. If your man's beating you up, or your man's putting hands on your children, or your man's doing what he's doing, you're calling your baby father. Yeah. Of course, sure. you can't fight. Yeah. Of you know what I mean? So, yeah. Yeah. so how does so so you know? Let's not take men for granted. Do you know what I mean? From from that perspective of things. When you were saying what's the answer earlier, T, yeah. I think part of the answer is we just at, in couples we ain't resilient enough. Mm. Like we yeah. just run away or break up or don't want to get through something. Mm. And unfortunately, a lot of the times when we were younger, it's the women who'd be like, oh, I've got options, I'm gone. I don't need to hang mm-hmm. around. I'm not, I don't need to stand yeah. for this, you know what I mean? Because in their head, they're thinking, say they have three kids, they're like, Who's, what guy is going to want to take me on with three kids? And special that's how they see it. It's yeah, be yeah. They, they see it as like a, these kids are baggage, even though, you know what I mean? That's how they will, they will look at it like, yeah, these kids are baggage. I don't think I'll be able to get this person. Oh, yeah, that. Do you know what I mean? So that, well, those are all things that they probably were well. on the, But then also on the flip side, I think sometimes having children is probably a bit more easier to find somebody if the other person's got children as well. Because generally, yeah. when someone ain't got children, it's a bit different because they're yeah. more of a family itself. Yeah. But most people that we know, I mean, I'm going by what, around our age anyway, yeah, mm. or whatever. Most people we know have got children. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The day and age is not when you're young, when you've got to make that decision like, nah, man, nah, man, like, I've got baggage and, I, and I'm and i going, for, unless you're going for a younger boy or something like that. Do you know what I mean? Or who, who hasn't got a family, then it's different. I think I'll be a spiteful baby dad. I, I know what I'm like, my attitude. I don't take to them things very well. <laughs> I think I, I could not, it, regardless of how we split up, if it wasn't on my terms, which would be me having my kids or me seeing my kids the majority of the time, I, I don't think I'd make life easy. I think I'd be like that too. Yeah. So, I'm, uh, so for me, I've never thought about it because obviously the the women, or I say the women, yeah, the, 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 my two baby mothers, obviously, you know, they'd probably end up getting the children anyway. They, that's generally how it goes anyway, really. You know, go from one relationship to another relationship. <sighs> trust me, tough, sticky. Yeah. Like, you know, it took a little while for things to settle down, stuff like that. But there was never no, from either side of my baby mothers, there was no, you know, they wanted to make sure that the kids had a relationship mm. from both sides and they picked, wanted to do that. So that was... Right, but, yeah. that's a, it's, but that doesn't happen for most people. That yeah. doesn't happen for most people. So Damn, right. I don't know, if is it a lottery or did you just pick the wrong baby mama? How, how do you know if you pick... You that's what I'm saying. You don't know. no way of saying it, is, it has to be a lottery. You pick the right... It has to be a lottery. Old school, st- old school thinking would say, like, you establish a relationship and you get married and you wait until the right time. Mm. Yeah, if, if you're your grandparents. Now, I'm not age. saying Leroy's situation, but a lot of situations of other people we know is like they just had a baby with someone they didn't really know. Yeah. So they yeah, don't, true. then they can't expect much apart from mm. what they get. Do you know what I mean? It might, it's a lottery in that case, isn't it? Or, or 
They had a baby with that person, yeah? Dude, the relationship was bare toxic and it was mash out, split up and that, but they got back on the man had next to you. Yeah. They got a man next yeah. there. Like, you know what I mean? Like, bro, you just fucked up the first time already mm. with this brother. Well, you young. knew they were sticky and you knew it was like, yeah, right, yeah, this didn't work, young. but then you, you got back and you got breed up again. Yeah. <laughs> like, that, I think that's worse. Like, that's, when, that's, you're, when you're young, that's you don't know. Me, do you? And sometimes because you just can't let go. I get that. Mm-hmm. Or, now mm-hmm. I'm a trapeze ass, so he ain't going nowhere. Oh, <laughs> you know what I mean? It can be, yeah, it can be that, that situation. That nearly happened to me, didn't it? <laughs> oh, oh, shit. shit. Uh, you <laughs> had some drama, <laughs> innit? Yeah, of course we have. We all have. We, we, tried, we tried at one house free and had no dramas right here. Yeah, oh, it's true. Eli's yeah. been pale sailing. Eli's been nice, man. I can't lie. I didn't have a kid for 15 years. That's why. <laughs> I waited. I can't lie, I'm jealous of that nigga over there, man. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's nice yeah this, man go, this man go away lightly, you know. Lights. I'll put some juju on you, man. Nah, 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 come on. Nah, 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 that was, that was dangerous, boy. Yeah. Car, boy. I just remember the car. That's when I knew it. That <laughs> wasn't even the worst, though, boy. Yeah, Eli, yeah Eli obviously, seen... that, that was a sign. We said yeah. that when we, we said that when we were out there. That's time to get out. I'm not, I'm, I'm I'm not going to say that person <clears throat> did that or that the person did that. They did that. Purpose, they did Everyone, you, they you did boys think they did it. But I don't know. Listen, listen, listen. They would have gone... The levels that that person went to, bruv, they did that. That's minor. That's minor. That's minor. The level that that person... All right, listen. Slow you. A lot of cars have scratched on that no. same street. Yeah, Listen, so that's you know, you know, so right. yeah, what's, what's the scenario? <laughs> what's the scenario? Here's the scenario. What's the scenario? Listeners, okay, so Ashwell gets a brand new BMW. Oh, Ooh, that nice. He loves this car. Mm-hmm. He makes it very clear this is what he's been working towards. Oh, lovely. He decides that he's going on a stag do with his boys. Yeah. Insecure girlfriend. Yes. Insecure yeah, girlfriends. Like, don't want him to go. All of a sudden, Ashwell gets back and his car's got a scratch from the front panel to the back panel. A deep Free scratch. Free it ain't like a quick kid running past scratch. That is a... I hate you. You yep. listen. Yeah. Yeah. And, and the thing is, though, like, <clears throat> she told me I was a holiday. So, because she was to hurt his yes, yes, course, holiday yeah. as well. Yeah. Like, yeah. Man speaking that she just telling man about courtesy. She could told you when you got back, man. Cool. But yeah. she wants to fuck up your trip. Yeah, mm. straight. I st- <laughs> uh, you don't say that, but I don't, I don't know. I don't know for certain that she. But did that's that. not the deepest thing she did, though, is that it? One, that, one, that, that That was. That was. Light, that was the light work, work compared to that what that person did. Minor. What did that person do? What was the worst thing they did? Ash? I never wanted. To, did you want to say what she did? I, can't wow. I remember, I I remember to say somebody. What she did. I remember someone saying that she, she was pregnant. Yeah. Yeah. Pregnant with a man's baby. Yeah. Lost the baby. Yeah. Went and got the baby cremated. Yeah. Wouldn't let the man know about where he got the baby cremated or not. Done the did fake scan. Fake. Oh yeah, the fake the fake Google scan. scan. Remember we found that. Google and scan. It, it put a name on and it. And put the name on it. I remember yeah, that. Uh, if, 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 it, if it weren't for reverse Google image, sir, yep. you, yep. you wouldn't have known. No, 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 no birth certificate, no death yeah. certificate. No death certificate. Um, I knew boxing. man went out. Man bought, man bought what do you mean, actually? Man bought buggy. Man and bought, you. man bought clothes. Yep. I spent the whole world on this shit, you know. I thought I was yep. going to be a dad, innit? Man, so. she, was, hey, she done him dirty, bro. Do you know what I mean? He dodged man a up, major bro. bullet there. Yeah, that, that, is, that definitely yeah. was a bullet that was yeah, dodged. Yeah, he dodged a major bullet there. Man was looking out for you then, boy. But that was some evil shit, like. Yeah. Damn shit. right. Yeah, I never thought females would do that. I see it in movies, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's the thin line between love and hate. Yeah, that was there, man. I thought that shit is just a movie, bro. Right, but yeah. nah, that shit happened in yeah, that's real that, life. That's crazy. Yeah. Do you think that some baby mamas use children to defraud know. their partners, boyfriends, exes? I think I some. Do they like extort them, should I say? I know a lot of females who've got baby fathers, and I don't think that they do that. Who mm. you know, single, a lot of single mothers that I know. I don't think they do do that. Mm. I think that they look after their children very well, and and I'll and I'll you know I'll, I'll put my hands up like. The mothers that I know, majority of them, you know, 95% of them are really good mothers and have done good jobs, um, you know, being single mothers. You know, some of their fathers, kids' fathers are involved and some of them ain't. But there is some that I reckon use their baby fathers financially for a lifestyle. Of course. Yeah. To live a lifestyle. Yeah. I know some baby mothers, man, get a whole heap of money, brother. Like, I'm talking like... <laughs> a thousand pound a month and things like that like wow. from the father to support the kids and oh, they're out job. with lip fillers and they're out raving and they're out 
They're driving better cars than the man's driver, and they kind of think they're nothing could bumper club. Like, how does this work? <laughs> They hurt my feet when I see bro, like you know I could drop like, a couple things and then I don't know who's watching this. I know my kids ain't gonna be watching this, but remember when I told you that I had some deep shit? I remember when I told you that some that one of my baby mothers said to me that they they got this gene, the cancer gene, and we looked it up. The oh yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We yeah, looked yeah. it up. Told yeah. me they had to get yeah. Basically, I she told got, you that was she got boobs, son. Yeah, I told but you. But she tried to tell me she had cancer, so she had to have her boobs removed. Yeah, yeah. but. Yeah, had really her boobs yeah. removed and new ones put in the same day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. I told you that we looked out as B. We looked up. She told, I got, like I said, I've got the text. Where yeah. do you? Yeah, madness, the madness. thing is, it's hered- hereditary, isn't it? Yeah, so that means one of my kids have got it. Yeah. 50%. Yeah. And you're mashing up people's heads like that, making man scared yeah. and about the pity, isn't it? 50% yeah, so passed down. Yeah. It's, it's something, well, we're not going to try and go out here and like slander every single baby. I'm not slander. That's, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, like, because so you like, can reverse just, you know, it because there, I know a few waste men. Do you know what I mean? Like, there's, there's a few, yeah, there's enough, there's, I'm sure you like you females think there's enough waste men out here. But when, when the dude, when you know the dude's not a waste man and this man is there for his kids, mm. Give the man his props, man. Yeah. Yeah. Give the man his flowers, because yeah. we do. The, we will do yeah. the same for you, man. Yeah, damn right. You know what I mean, just give them their props. Like if they're there for their kids, that's all. They, that's what you should want them to do. Yeah. yeah. And once you're not together, you should be able to have a, a civilized conversation. Yeah. And be co-parents. Mm. Yeah. There's nothing. I mean? There's nothing better than being co-parents. Nothing better. Whether you're in the relationship with that person or not, nothing better. Mm-hmm. Because the child will then grow up. Got stability. To, yeah. Yeah. To have stability in their life and understand. Like respect because yeah. if one of the person disrespects that person, they they then learn to disrespect. So that man might end up disrespecting women when he gets older, or vice versa. Exactly. A woman might not respect the man, and you know vice versa. So if you can co-parent mm. as well as you can, no, even co- beneficial child. When you co, yeah, when you co-parenting, if you have like, because that person, that kids are smart. They will play. Right, they will play ki- parents against they each other. Of course. Cool. So if you're co- once you're co-parent, you already you already know what he's <laughs> going to come with before yeah. you come with it. Of course. Yeah. Uh, this, this, and this. Yeah. You, no, no. This is what happened. Yeah. You know what I mean. We already heard yeah. information. Yeah. You know. Me long time ago, you exactly. Can't, yeah. You can't try that. Exactly. Yeah. 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 Do you know what I mean? Because yeah, kids would there. try it. Because yeah. you know, yeah. kids would go back and forth and say, "Well, they're not talking anyway, so they're only going to argue." So I'm just going to use that. But sometimes when people split up, they then both try and outdo each other. And do more for their child than the other one is. They like. do. Mm. It's a competition. There's situations that I see like they want to take them on more holidays or they yeah. want to be the one to introduce them to certain yeah. things mm. yeah. or give them more for a birthday yeah. and say, well, what's your, what's your parent, what's your dad done yeah. for you? What's uh, your yeah, mom done? Time, kids bro. love it, bro. Have kids are benefiting from that. And the kids think it. they're having a good time at the time, but really what the parents are just killing themselves. Yeah, yeah. You know, making themselves rock. 